Hey y'all, Ram Dana here, coming at you from North Carolina for a short period of time, because the next time you see me, I'll be in Georgia. Well, see what I'm taking with me on my section hike, starting at Springer on the Appalachian Trail and going to Neal's Gap? See what gear I'm taking? Stick around. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get started on my uh, gear list here. No particular order. This is what I'm taking. I've already checked Shutter's free app, free weather weather app for your phone, and the weather looks like it's going to be great. We're going to have uh, about 64 degrees, mid 60s during the day, and then at night it's going to be in the mid 40s. So we ought to have everything here ready to go for that, and we'll just start in no particular order. Here is my shelter system. Uh, I've got my footprint this is the footprint here for my fast fly system got the poles this time i've got enough stakes and there's my flash fast fly so uh, i won't be uh, having any type of tent that'll just be a fly system uh, i'll be taking uh, of course my trekking poles camp shoes here crocs i've got uh, kerchief and i never leave home without my buff uh, my clothing system will be this uh, uh, shirt that's a wicking shirt. It's long sleeve for sun protection and wind protection. Uh, darn tough socks with liners. Uh, here's a couple spare there. And a wicking shirt along with wicking underwear. And then my camp cotton, you got it, cotton camp underwear for wear around camp. Uh, Got my cook system here. We've been through that before. Got my water filtration system here, which is, uh, the, of course, the ubiquitous Sawyer Squeeze. TP, brace, knee brace. Didn't need that last time. Hope you won't need it this time, but we're taking it anyway. Trash bag. Part of the cook system is, of course, my spork and my mini oven uh, for warming. That works great. Uh, because I do uh, freezer bag cooking. Uh, part of my, I've got my uh, food bag here. I have cut my food bag back, uh, including water and food. I'm carrying 7.3 pounds of food. I think last time I was probably carrying 15, so I've cut that back considerably. Uh, I am also, uh, a couple, a new thing here, I'm going to cut back on my water just to save a, a pound or pound and a half. Instead of two liters of water, I am just taking a liter and a half. There's plenty of water on the trail. We've had plenty of rain, so I don't foresee that being a problem. Um, so that's one of the new things I'm, I'm trying here. Uh, wallet, just money, credit card, license. That's all I'll need on the trail. First aid bag with uh, toiletry items, so on and so forth. A, another new item here. We'll go ahead and hit the new items. This is my Merino wool tobog that my mother made for me uh so i'm excited to see how that works out uh this is just a boonie hat i've got for in the sun the shade these are new rain pants from the video before uh my post hike gear review uh you'll remember that my rain pants were frog togs and they did not work out so i went and uh, acquired some new ones and we'll let you know how those go um I am taking a trial. Uh, last time I didn't take a trial, I had to use my trekking poles to dig a cat hole. And I'll just be honest with you, that does not work out at all. Uh, you just can't dig anything deep with the trekking poles, deep enough to get it in the ground and hide it. So this thing doesn't even weigh a pound. I think it weighs like 0.6 of an ounce. So, you know, what the heck? Why not take it? Um, of course, the... the um, the newest item is my pack, and I'll do a gear review on the pack in another video and a post hike of how this turned out. But this is the new Exos 2018, Exos 58, uh, and you look at my other video about my trials and tribulations with Offspray about that. So, um, But that'll be a new pack. I'll let you know how that worked out. Since it does not have any side pockets, uh, I'm having to take a makeshift side pocket and uh, because i do um, enjoy those side pockets um trash bag that's not new 
Uh, this is a new liner for me. You'll recall from my last post tight gear review that I had the uh, extreme liner that's supposed to add 25 degrees. It did not. So this is um, a new liner that I've gotten from Outdoor Vitals, and it's really just a polyester liner. So it's just a wicking liner. So that's another new item I'm taking. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the new items. Uh, my Sea to Summit, Sea to Summit Pillar. Be taking that. Uh, of course, uh, my uh, my sleeping bag here supposed to be rated to 40. Uh, we are supposed to be getting in the 40s, so we will tell you how that went uh, as part of my sleep system in case that does not do the trick. I'll be taking a um, emergency blanket which is basically just a piece of mylar because I think that was part of the problem last time with my sleep system why I got so cold was um, the uh, the um, outdoorsman lab um, pad that I have is a great pad but it has very poor R value so that being said I need something to get me a better R value in some mylar which is reflects the heat my body heat back I'm hoping it's going to do the trick. So, but as part of my sleep system, I'll be bringing a capillary, capillary uh, uppers and capillary lowers. And I don't suspect I'll need those during the day at all, but if I get cold at night, I'll have those. Um, and as part of my sleep system also, and maybe for those uh, the cool mornings, I'll have my puffy. And I'll have, of course, the Frog Togs uh, rain jacket. Doesn't look like we're going to get any rain on Friday and Saturday, but coming out on Sunday, we are very likely to get some rain. So we'll uh, we'll see how all that works out. Uh, I'll put it all together and get a overall pack weight for you, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, there it is in all its glory, stuffed, ready to roll, with the exception of the items I'm throwing on. I have my weight is coming in including food and water at 25 pounds that's 10 pounds lighter than my last trip so my last trip i was at 35 pounds i'm not exactly sure where i shed all that weight other than doing some weight management i did get rid of some items I, a lot of it is cut out that i've not taken near as much food because i brought so much back and i'm reducing my water weight by i guess a third so that certainly helps out um and I've actually added a few items. Plus, as you've noticed, as you may have recalled from my Offspray pack review, my pack even weighs more just by itself. So all in all, I am pretty cotton-picking stoked about that and looking forward to getting on the trail. So we will let you know how all that gear worked out. I'll be leaving here actually in the next few minutes to go. So... Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you uh, looking forward to the next one and reviewing my other ones. Leave a comment in the comment box below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And as always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out there.